What's up, Africans? Peace and black power is King Leon next, the unapologetic black voice of America. I put the black woman, black child, black family first because I am a black man, okay? And not only am I a black man, I'm a black man that reads. I'm the most kind of dangerous, I'm the most dangerous kind of black man there is because I know that they put the valuable things on the higher shelves so they're out of reach for most people. So if you want the things on the higher shelves, you got to stand on the books you read. Each book you read to get a little higher. So me knowing this is why I started the Leaders or Readers Challenge, hashtag Leaders or Readers Challenge. You got to pick up a book. Look, read one of three pages on camera and then challenge other people to do the same okay um, leaders are readers and readers are leaders right so peep this the book I'm reading out today is called Jesus CEO um, using ancient wisdom for visionary leadership by Lori Beth Jones so I'm gonna start well, in the section where it says he said I am what if Jesus did not instantly know who he was or what his gifts were what if it dawned on him gradually as it dawns on each of us maybe his mother recited stories of the unusual events surrounding his birth maybe she set the beautiful boxes the three wise men brought to him on a shelf in his room and at night the young boy would take them down and hold them in wonder or perhaps he just knew instantly that he had a special calling and he was just awaiting the moment when his powers could be set free either way i believe jesus had to go into the wilderness to find out who he was the wilderness experience was as much a part of shaping him in his destiny as it is for yours and mine i once involved a meeting of a real estate developers who were gathered to discuss a possible joint venture each developer had an impressive resume in terms of the task to be accomplished. Much to our surprise, the organizer of the group s stood and begun to describe in detail one of his greatest failures. He talked about how his eagerness to make money for his investors caused him to overlook some of the important details about the public opinion trends. He said, I'm much more careful now to get all the facts before I act on my ideas. The person next to him with a slightly red face admitted that on occasion he had not been a genius either. In fact, he had once purchased a huge parcel of land for development that was, unbeknownst to him, sitting on solid rock. The youngest member of the group was reluctant to speak when it was his turn to share his mistake. He sort of fumbled around and said, well, everyone knows I've had many successes. The leader gently looked at him. Come on, Charlie, put your rock out on the table. If you have not experienced failure, you cannot be a part of this group. What the leader was really saying was, if you have not been tested by fire, you don't know who you are. If you haven't been tested by fire, then you don't know who you are. And if you don't know who you are, you cannot be a leader. If you don't know who you are, you cannot be a leader. In the wilderness, Jesus was given clear choices, each relating to his special gifts. When the devil said, worship me and you will own the world, Jesus said, no. The devil said, then satisfy your hunger and turn these stones into bread. Again, Jesus said, no. Throw yourself off the pinnacle of the temple and test your power to spring back to eternal life. Jesus looked at Satan in the face and said, no. And finally, after 40 days of being tested and refined in that desert furnace, a person emerged who was very clear about who he was and what he was called to do. Jesus met the, the, temp, Jesus met the temptation to use his gifts selfishly and he overcame them. Jesus met the temptation to use his gifts selfishly and he overcame them. It is no coincidence that after the wilderness experience, Jesus began to use the words, I am, when describing himself. In the Old Testament, when the Jews asked God for a self-description, the only answer they received was, I am that I am. I am that I am. The simplicity of the phrase emphasizes his power to them. The words I am, therefore, reflect all the creative power of the universe. 
the words I am therefore reflect all the creative power of the universe. Question, what wilderness experience has helped you see your, your gifts more clearly? What wilderness experience has helped you see your gifts more clearly? Question number two, list in detail each of your own I am's. Question number three, write down three positive and powerful word pictures about yourself. Draw them, for example, I am a bridge, right? So I read that out of, again, um, Jesus CEO, an using ancient wisdom for revolutionary leadership, okay? The power of I am, okay? I am is God. I am that, comma, I am. When, when uh, he spoke and identified himself as I am, anything that follows that, that's the universe's cr creative power. So if you say I am prosperous and you that's your dominant mood or feeling and you will become prosperous. If you say I am dumb, you will be dumb. If you say I am a slave, I am ignorant, I am, I am, I am. We cannot be detached from the I am. The I am is us, right? And we get to choose what we are. So you guys decide who you want to be pick up a book read it read one of three pages empower the people it's king leon next the unapologetic black voice of america shout out to ron green and uh if you're so kind uh we do have the gofundme page because we're building black liberation center so go ahead and drop some dough in that and uh keep these challenges going peace